Today we're calling it double trouble in the tropics. Fred putting the keys under a tropical storm warning and another system is now behind it. Fred is soaking Cuba as we speak and then it's headed towards Florida. And right now the keys remain in the cone of concern and all of South Florida is under a flood watch. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is standing by in the keys. We'll check in with hurricane specialist Brian Norcross as well. But let's begin with our chief certified meteorologist Betty Davis. Betty. Hi everyone, we are still looking at a highly disorganized Fred, a tropical depression. Winds up 35 miles per hour, moving west northwest at 12 miles per hour, and it's right here, right all along that north coast of Cuba. And you can see the flare up of shower thunderstorm activity associated with it. And it's that deep tropical moisture that looks to head in our direction on Saturday and drench the area. Here's the projected path from the National Hurricane Center. They do show, by the way, that that it could become a tropical storm as it's closing in near the Keys. But by Saturday morning, it's near the Keys, moving over into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, and thereafter the Panhandle uh, headed up in that vicinity. Bottom line for us, though, we're looking at a tropical storm warning for the Keys. So this is where we would expect some 40 mile per hour winds or maybe even winds just over that at times. As for Broward and Miami-Dade and the Keys too now, Heavy rainfall is in the forecast. The rain forecast through the weekend, some three to seven inches per the National Hurricane Center. We are under a flood watch. And with that, let's bring in our hurricane specialist, Brian Norcross, for a lot more on Fred and a look at that next thing. All right, Betty, let's take a look at uh, the satellite picture here, the close-up high-resolution satellite picture. There's where the National Hurricane Center located the center of circulation uh, as of 2 o'clock, so two hours ago. And if you watch it closely, it's hard to make out what happened to it after that. Did it dive down here a little bit to the south? I looked uh, at the uh, wind observations from Cuba, best I could find. I couldn't find anything really current. So I'm going to be really interested to see here in the next hour what they come up with as far as where this center of circulation is. It's supposed to be moving along the coast like this. Uh, but I don't see any signs of it uh, in the uh, satellite sequence right here. So anyway, we're going to know about that in the next hour. In any case, if it behaves the way the Hurricane Center has been thinking, that's what it's going to do. It's going to move along uh, the coast, and then it's going to get into this area here off of the Keys where the water is kind of deep and warm. So that might provide enough fuel for it to organize. There's no sign of organizing now. That takes some time. But just in case they've gone ahead and put up the uh, tropical storm warning and had the forecast here of 40 miles per hour in terms of the top winds when it's in the vicinity of Keys uh, tomorrow morning. But the moisture and the strongest winds are not going to be related to the center. They're going to be spread out over a wide area, including uh, all of South Florida. So here's the way the moisture looks uh, right now. You see it's a big area and it's mostly behind the center. So the idea is that we don't want to look at the center here. We want to think about this as a much longer term event. Here comes the moisture. So tomorrow it arrives and then uh, the wind such as it is, which I just think is going to be gusty, is going to come in from the southeast generally over most of South Florida. And if you're near the coast, you're going to notice those uh, gusty winds. And then it moves on to the north on Sunday. And look at that. We're still in the moisture. So uh, Betty is keeping some uh, rain in the forecast. All right. Out in the Atlantic, here's the, the other one. And and there's where it was as of 2 o'clock, and look where it has already moved. So it is speeding along here. As a matter of fact, it's moving so fast, they already have tropical storm watches in effect for the extreme northeastern islands there. And look at the cone. Yes, folks, the cone name's right at Florida. Uh, the good news is that the forecast as of right now is not for a strong storm because once again, the track is right over the mountainous islands of the Caribbean. Of course, that's well into the future. That's next week's problem. So anyway, nothing uh, pending immediately on that. It'll be the islands uh, this weekend. Calvin Nicole. Okay, thank you, Brian.